bold steps towards inner peace are found on the mat. I notice that when I'm not, when I don't meditate and when I don't do yoga, the bumps get definitely get bumpier. Meditative moments are especially important when being faced with great uncertainty. I honestly think that if they put me in jail, there would be a public outcry. Karen Stegenga, or Eve as she's commonly known, is one of the 50 plus people being criminally charged right across Canada for not filling out the 2011 census. Uh, I was shocked because of the amount of time that had passed and I had heard nothing since the letter. A letter that states she must comply or face the consequences. Eve's being charged under Section 31 of the Statistics Act, an offense that comes with a $500 fine and up to three months in jail. Just not even say here that it's a criminal charge, actually. Regardless, the reasoning behind not filling out the census doesn't change for this double psych and communications major. I feel in strong disagreeance with the government's decision to work with uh, a company like Lockheed Martin. An American company with global security interests. It manufactures missiles, amongst other technologies, which in this case supplied Statistics Canada with software to process their data a contract won by Lockheed Martin. And it also made me suspicious of um, an American company having a back way in to get our personal information. Personal information, she says, is too valuable to give away. The privacy of our personal information is really important to me, and I think it should be really important to everybody um, because it affects our freedom. But Royal Roads professor Bill DeRoti who's been featured in the BBC documentary series The Power of Nightmares, that's all about the politics of fear, points out a present trend. Really there has evolved in recent years a very unhealthy mistrust uh, of authorities. Professor DeRodi says historically people were happy to give up their personal information for statistical purposes. But that's all changed in our modern world. The more government talks about transparency in the contemporary period, the more people become suspect and then say, well, yeah, but what about, you're telling us about this, but what about that? I, I want to trust them, but I, just by you showing me words, I don't trust them. Eve's concerns are putting a spotlight on a larger issue. Well, I think the error of the government is to not win the argument as to the need and benefit of conducting a census. And, and again, that's a sign of their complete disengagement from ordinary people and ordinary communities that they are then left coercing people into doing something that, on the whole, is socially useful. She's pleaded not guilty and awaits her trial in the next few months before a provincial judge. I'm not a criminal. I haven't done anything wrong. I don't participate in criminal activity. I don't have a criminal record. I have nothing to hide, um, except my freedom is really, really important to me. Currently, there have been two similar cases heard before the courts in Ontario, one was found guilty and the other not. In Victoria, I'm Raji Kabli.